Hallo, ich bin mein kleines Wölfchen. Willkommen zu Red Dead Redemption 2. Und da ihr seht richtig, ich habe ein neues Pferd. Das ist genau das Pferd, was ich schon so lange haben wollte. Ähm, ich habe dazu ein extra Video gemacht, das kommt heute um 16.30 Uhr. Und dann könnt ihr euch das anschauen, wenn ihr wollt. Ähm, was ja schon ein bisschen tricky ist, ist, ich habe es doch nicht mit dem Glitch gemacht wo man es eigentlich auch hätte machen können. Aber es hat bei mir nicht so funktioniert. Ach ja, ich habe es im Übrigen am Mist ja getauft. Vielleicht kommt euch dann einmal bekannt vor, nämlich von äh, The Black Tail. Da heißt der ja, Hauptcharakter auch am ja. Genau, äh, genug gequatscht. Ich gehe jetzt mal hier zu Pearson. Das ist unser Koch da. Der möchte irgendwas von mir. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <gasps> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Oh, next Einladung here. <laughs> so I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Tja, Arta ist halt auch zu Frau nicht unbedingt hier. Zimperlich, ne? <laughs> yep. Na gut, dann fahren wir erstmal zum Laden, wo auch immer das ist. Ich glaube, cool ich werde es nicht Ups. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Es gibt da was, nennt sich Briefgeheimnis, Fräulein. Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> And what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, there. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Yeah. How's yours, bro? I complaining. That's good. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought 
thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Weh, du stellst irgendwas an, Mädel, ne? Ich sag's dir. Ah, dann gehen wir jetzt erstmal zur Post. Geben den Brief ab. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the parts? Look, it's a moment, all right? For a private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. Okay. Ich lass das mal so stehen. I do beg your pardon. <coughs> Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. In here. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Ich würde aber auch gerne noch meinen Kopfgeld bezahlen. Ich habe da... Ach, ich habe ja gar kein Kopfgeld. Okay, diesmal war ich wirklich brav. <lacht> Ja, dann gehen wir mal zum Wagen zurück. Ach, was heißt gehen? Wir rennen. Ach, die ist auch schon fertig. Hallo, Hündchen. Hey. Okay. Goddamn Wind's making my head rattle. I think this is everything. Bow, bow. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for a goddamn deal. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Hey. Some good news. Auf dein Wort. Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just. Treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, yeah. no I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Ah, oh man, hey. God damn it! Yeah, yeah. Hey. They was gonna rob us. Talking? New pair of pants. Think you're landing oh, shit. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Oh, wow. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Okay, now okay, you okay. got this. You okay there? Oh, wow. Doch jetzt mal in Ruhe. Mein Dead Eye geht langsam zu Neige. Ist jetzt ohne Dead Eye? Wisst ihr was? 
Ach, der ist schon tot, okay. Dann. Surprise! Wo ist denn da noch jemand? Keiner mehr. Mein Gott. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, watch it. We show those bastards. So, ich fahre ja wieder alles klar. Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hey, slow down. Ah, wow, 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 langsam. Ah, wow. Ich bin auch mal so ein bisschen zu ungeduldig. Ganz gechillt. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want Bitte nicht mein Pferd umfahren, hallo. Hey, let me drive. Sorry. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. Ah. Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Okay. Äh, ich würde mit gerne erstmal kurz mein Dad Eye wieder auffüllen. Ich glaube, das ging mit Kaffee da vorne. Oder kann ich auch schon was essen? Ah ja, geht auch. Dann nehme ich mir noch was zu essen. Und dann schaue ich mal, was Dutch da vorne von mir möchte. Mach mich am besten während dem Essen mal auf dem Weg dahin, würde ich mal sagen. Okay, das füllt gar nicht mein Dad auf. Okay, warte, dann nehme ich mir einen Kaffee. Kaffee, das müsste aber eigentlich. What is your problem, you little strumpet? Please go away. What is your problem? I got lots of problems. Mostly ja, das too much. Ein What's your problem with me? Nothing but the obvious. And what naja, is that the no. <laughs> So, jetzt, jetzt geht mein Dad so ein bisschen nach oben. So. Dann gehen wir jetzt mal zu Dutch. Mal gucken, was er möchte. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Was in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Yeah, it's like a shame. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Geht doch ein bisschen schneller, oder? Ja. Ich dachte, jetzt müssen wir hier im Gänsemarsch hin und her trotten. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you 
You don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over the Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, right. you. <laughs> Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. In ich lauf euch einfach hinterher. Ja. Easy girl, you're okay. Easy girl. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hey, you're okay, girl. Okay, tief durchatmen und ruhig bleiben. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, Let's look who we it is. Then that thing, Junge. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Okay. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go! After that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I can't so schnell wie mein Pferd kann, meine Güte. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Ich bin doch direkt hinten dran, was möchtest du denn jetzt von mir? Come on, Deputy! 
idiot. Oh, wow. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Okay, weil die weiter rüber. Ich habe keine Lust, mich irgendwo anzuhauen. Come on, you must be able to get next to it. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. Yeah. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Watch out! Okay. Ich muss noch den Rest jagen, oder Naja, ja, ich folge schon. Komm schon, Arthur, schneller! Ich hoffe, mein Pferd stirbt jetzt nicht deswegen. Der andere sitzt da oben drauf, okay. Du hast ein Messer in der Hand. Ich hab doch gar keine Chance. Aua. Aua. Das ist doch voll gemein. Jetzt. Hab ich dich jetzt? Nein, hab ich dich nicht. Jetzt hab ich dich. Meine Güte. Das war... Gott, guck mich mal an hier, ey. Ja, tut weh, ne? Glaub ich dir. Mann, ey. <lacht> Wie ramponiert dich aus, Bring der? Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in, come on. A fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Warum denn? Warum warst du auf einmal dein Pferd her? You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Guck mal diese Kratzer oh, we'll an. Anders back there is the brains of the operation and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. It's been On the right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Uh, there we go. We're gonna bear left here. Vor allem das Pferd da links galoppiert und ich renne einfach im Trab daneben her. 
Easy. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? The sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. Ach so. Entschuldigung. Ja, ja. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Sagt der Richtige. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Können wir gerne machen, aber ich würde sagen, für heute machen wir erstmal einen kleinen Cut. Äh, und dann gehen wir in der nächsten Folge einfach mal angeln. Also bis dahin. Tschüss.